Have you been using vendor stock photos? Or maybe you feel like I just need a professional photographer to be able to take great pictures for my boutique business. Well, stop right there, you don't. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to take professional looking pictures for your boutique business, so stay tuned. Hey, if we haven't met yet, welcome. My name is Emily Benson. I am a, a business consultant and mindset coach for boutique owners just like you. Whether you're looking to make $500 a month or $500,000 a month, I wanna help get you there. That is what I do. Back in 2011, which seems like forever ago now, I started my own boutique business after working for many years in corporate retail. As of the past couple years, I've been consulting, helping other people get their boutique business up, running strong, and making money. Stick around here. I come out with new videos every Tuesday. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to my channel because you want to have a profitable boutique business. All right, let's jump right into it. So first and foremost, we're going to address this right off the bat. You don't need a fancy camera. You just need a nice phone. Phones these days take great pictures, so you don't need some kind of fancy camera. What you do actually need is a good tripod and a ring light. So I'm pointing to my ring light, which is around me. It's in front of me right here. <laughs> and I have inside the ring light, there is something that holds my phone. Now I put my phone sideways. When you take pictures of yourself, you're gonna wanna put it vertically, so not landscape portrait mode. Okay. And you're gonna want to get a ring light that has like a clicker system in it or a tripod that has a clicker system. So it works on Bluetooth and this clicker, so you can stand back and click, 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 take all these pictures of yourself and it's no big deal. You can just take that clicker and like hide it behind you or put it in your pocket, you know, like style it all cute. That's really the only thing you're gonna need to pay for is the ring light, the tripod, the clicker. If you don't wanna get a ring light, if you feel like I'm good with natural light, you can do that too. I often am filming at night because it's just when I have free time in my schedule. So a ring light really saves me because look at what happens when I don't have a ring light on. Bye. So much cuter, right? It just lights up your face. It lights up the clothes. It shows things in good colors. A ring light is just a really beautiful natural light that's gonna help you even if you're in a basement if you don't have good daylight, if you don't wanna spend that money and you are taking pictures during the day, then just stand in front of a really nice window. A window should give you really great light. So either way, it's totally fine. If you wanna go budget for a little while, that's cool, don't get the ring light. But if you are like, you know what, I have an extra 70 bucks to spend on Amazon, do it. I will link below the ring light that I use, just in case you wanna see. What has been holding you back from taking pictures of yourself, in your clothes, Tell me below, confess why you're worried and let's talk it out because listen, the second tip for you here is that you have to be the one in the clothes. I don't wanna be in the pictures, Emily. I get it. As of the time I'm filming this, we've been through COVID, lockdown, everyone's gained weight, blah, 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 blah. We don't love our bodies, we're in a weird place. We're all there. So imagine your customers get to see you in the same place they are. Instantly, you become relatable, you become someone that they wanna buy from. Don't be afraid to show your face and your body off. I know, we have to get back to loving ourselves, loving our bodies, where we are in the moment, okay? That's what I find. So many people don't wanna take pictures of themselves because they just don't feel comfortable. And I get that, but I also wanna challenge you, just do it. Do it scared, do it a little uncomfortable because if you don't do it now, when are you gonna do it? Okay, last important thing that I missed <laughs> is, I would say have a consistent background. So if you notice, there's gonna be a series of YouTube videos where I have the same background. I'm at my in-laws farm upstate and this was a really good background. I really love this artwork. I thought the window was kind of nice. Yeah, there's reflection, but it's pretty clean back here. Find a spot in your house that's clean. You might even honestly want to just do it in front of a blank wall, whether it's gray or white or some kind of neutral color. That's okay too, right? You don't have to have anything fancy in the background. 
Now, if you do wanna have something fancy in the background and you're at the stage where you wanna put something more branded behind you, I wanna tell you a little bit about my friend Jessica Hapney. She owns a business called Boutique Decor and More. I'm gonna put her link with our discount code down in the description below. She can help you custom design backgrounds for your photographs, for your live stream videos. She can put your logo on it. Uh, she can put some kind of print on it. She does those amazing like uh, foliage walls too. So don't hesitate to reach out to Jessica and her team. It's not as expensive as you think. And like I said, there's a discount code below and maybe we'll even put it right here. <laughs> so reach out to her because having that consistent background is really important. Now, if you like the tips I've been giving you, I want to encourage you to take my best-selling course, Boutique Basics Bootcamp. We've had over 800 amazing new boutique owners just like you go through it, even some experienced ones. And it's such a great course because I walk you through step-by-step -step how to beef out your boutique business plan. We walk through how to have a mindset of a boutique owner, how to build that beautiful product assortment, how to really find those ideal customers, get them going on social media, get them buying, figuring out your pricing strategy. It's a really comprehensive course and we offer it for self-study and for a live version. So depending on where, when and where you're watching this, just head to www.boutiquebasicsbootcamp.com. I hope to see you in the course. As always, if you've liked my tips, you've liked my tricks, smash that like button, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you here next week in boutique land.